As my journey through Jordan winds down, I can't help but reminisce about what an amazing adventure this country has been. From the start with the anxiety of landing in a country all alone, fearfully looking forward into the abyss of time, then kicking off the journey with Pablo into the historical architectural city of Jorash and swimming in the mesmerizing waters of the Dead Sea. I then traveled back through time at the country's capital in Amman and felt the echoes of the Adhan as it flowed through the hills of the city. Then I embarked on the journey down the breathtaking King's Highway, passing through small towns like Madaba and Muta. Then that same night I pulled into Petra and was greeted by Ahmad who gave me that unique glimpse of the city. Then the next day when I started my tour of the historical city of Petra and teamed up with Ihtisham and we got to admire its rock carved architecture and pondered upon its mysteries. The journey then continued to Wadi Rum as we had the pleasure of spending the night in the desert driving through its valleys and witnessing its vastness. The last stretch of the trip was to the only coastal city in Jordan. We toured the corals and clear blue waters of Aqaba and then I parted ways with Ihtisham just in time to drive the coastal highway and make it back to Amman for my next adventures. It's just crazy the people you meet. Like, I don't know, yesterday at Wadi Rum, they have hundreds of camps, they have so many different activities, so many different prices. Like, I really had no idea. And then I run into Hisham in Petra, and you know, that changes the course of history for me. Even meeting Pablo. That changed the course of history for me. Just a one spark, like, hey, you wanna go to Dead Sea tomorrow? When I met at Hisham, trying to hustle those guys. That changed the course of history for me. One second, you just say, yo, what's up? Next thing you know, we're in a car together going to Wadi Rum, spending a night in the mountains, in the desert, in Jordan. You know, like, you can't plan for this stuff. The biggest thing about backpack is meeting people, you know, traveling together, and you can't plan for that. You cannot plan for that. I could never in my life think that I would have met Pablo or Hisham or the Italians. Or no, no plan is a plan. But tawakkal on Allah. You put your trust in Allah, and it answers itself. It solves itself. It was only after I began to edit these footage that I realized the Islamic historical significance of some of these places that I had the privilege to visit. Like the story of Prophet Lut and the people of Sodom at the Dead Sea, trying to connect modern science to the intriguing verses of the Quran. The epic battle of Muta that took place along the King's Highway during the time of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, recognizing the Sahabas that were laid to rest there and the rise of Khalid bin Walid. The story of Prophet Saleh at the magnificent city of Petra, wandering upon its marvels and referencing the Quran for clues. I have realized during my time spent in Jordan that the land within the country has deep connections to our Islamic history. And one thing to remember is that, regardless of what modern science and history can try and tell us about the past, the belief in our faith and the Quran takes precedence. And that is it for the Chevy Sayara. All good, no accidents, alhamdulillah to the max. No accidents for the amount of wild driving, no dings. Cars returned and we are good to go, brother. Alrighty, so the next journey, the trip already starts at Jordan Express Transport, the jet bus. I just bought my ticket. And also the FIFA World Cup is going on and the world is watching every single store has a crowd and a TV watching this game in uh, Lucille wow I was there I was there in the hotel everywhere not bad at all but uh, here I am for the night and then 6.30 in the morning, I'm off 
my focus turned to the upcoming adventure. The next country I visited was very nerve wracking to embark upon. Especially as a solo Muslim traveler, it seemed like a very daunting and risky endeavor. However, this country is very important to my faith and has been a dream for me for a very long time. It was important that I at least tried because unfortunately to say, the opportunity might not come back. But it turned out to be an amazing, humbling and sacred experience meeting other travelers along the way and basting in its spiritual presence. A country that has unjustifiably been under persecution for many years. Home to Jerusalem and the third holiest site in Islam. Next up, we're headed to Palestine.